Hello YouTube, after posting my video yesterday, uh, some people really had trouble replicating this or they wanted to know more information how everything was hooked up exactly. And so I decided to do a follow up video um, showing a more detailed way of how everything is hooked up. Again, that's the schematic. So, so here we go. This is the power supply, 5.9 volts, 400 milliamps and it goes to the switch and then it goes to beginning of one, co one coil and the two coils are connected uh, with the wire so uh, so power, power also goes into this coil in the end of this coil and um, across we have a rotor with two magnets on opposite poles one uh, north facing out and on the other side you have south uh, magnet facing out and then um, this is 26 gauge wire co uh, coil one pound this is um, uh, 23 gauge wire one pound and um, this the end of this coil goes to uh, 12k potentiometer and then from 12k potentiometer it goes to the to the base of a transistor uh, 2N 3055 transistor and then the uh, the end of this coil goes to the collector of the 2N 3055 uh, transistor so again see it's basically the schematic see so it's the, the, the schematic for the uh, what moves the rotor is the same as my uh, pulse motor that I uh, came up with the jewel thief pulse motor so if you guys w watch that video it's, it's basically the same thing only uh, I changed the polarity in one of the coils and I uh, have two magnets in there instead of four magnets and um, and the reason I had to change polarity in one of the coils is because now one you, you have um, magnets with different poles on opposite side see before it was two north uh, on the opposite sides and two south, south on the opposite sides so you, polarity had to be changed or, uh, otherwise it doesn't go let's say you're trying to replicate the pulse mo motor section and it, it's not working just change the polarity on one of your coils and you know spin it and um, uh, over this uh, rotor we have this uh, uh, hor horseshoe like um, band of, wi of wires it's just a um, all-purpose uh, iron uh, iron wire that you get uh, at Walmart basically I believe it's uh, 16 gauge uh, or 14 gauge uh, I, don't, I don't think the gauge on this is really, really matters as long as you have some kind of iron uh, core and you have your uh, two coils uh, one wound clockwise one wound counterclockwise they have to match in, in their size so you can't have one bigger than the other and then um, the two coils are shorted out um, it, the, the beginning of this winding is shorted out with the beginning of this winding and then the end of this winding is shorted out with the end of this winding and the, um, to, to measure your power uh, you, would, you would go from, this, from the beginning of the coil to the end of the coil like right here or, 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 uh, or from the beginning of this coil to the end of this coil right here so this is where your uh, output will be so I'm gonna turn it on and then you guys can see uh, this thing in action so you just flip the, the on switch give it a little spin see and it's going so I have uh, leads uh, across here across, across this coil and to a voltmeter so we can see what the voltmeter shows so it's 0.2 volts AC so same as same as yesterday so um, it really doesn't you, you don't really have to have a pulse motor to drive this you can drive this with a little motor like um, Mr. Angus Wingus did in his videos you know the the, the, the point is it's a lens free system is that it, there you don't have a drag all oh, these these coils are shorted out and you have to have them shorted out and uh, so it, it, whether they're shorted or not shorted doesn't matter see I'm going to disconnect it see again there's no effect on, this, on the speed of the rotor okay. look 
Okay. To me, that's just absolutely amazing. And um, again, this, that's the P, uh, that's at least Kelman's PM, PMH. See, I got rid of this bridge rectifier. Now it's just like this. So, if you have questions replicating this, or um, if you want to know what kind of magnets I used, oh yeah, I used uh, half an inch by one inch neodymium magnets grade uh, uh, N42, I believe. So they're they're fairly strong magnets. Their uh, pull is about I don't know like 30 pounds or something. And uh, that's basically it, you guys. See, we're getting power, and it's not dra dragging down the system. Again, uh, clockwise, counterclockwise. The, be the beginning of this coil is shorted out with the beginning of this coil and the end of this coil is shorted out with the end of this coil and this is an iron bar uh, or m multiple wire iron wires over the rotor and the rotor has two magnets on opposite sides one north facing out and then one south facing out on the opposite side so for my transistor I use 2N3055 transistor for my uh, potentiometer I use 12k potentiometer and and that's basically it you guys uh, if you if you have this uh, u-shape too close to the magnets and you have strong magnets it's gonna drag down your system and, and it won't spin so you'll have to pull uh, the prong, prongs apart a little bit so so you, because uh, it, it won't spin because of the attraction see the magnets would want to attract to the, to the metal that's what's gonna drag it down but uh, whether they're shorted out or not shorted out, doesn't matter, see. So, you can have a bunch of these or you can have one really big U um, core with really big coils. So, uh, okay, okay, I hope you guys found this video helpful in your replication. Okay, I wanted to disassemble this uh, U part just to show you the coils. The coils themselves. Okay, so I'm gonna take 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 one of the coils off, so you guys can see what it looks like up close. Okay, so it's just a little 3D printed spool, and uh, I use 20 gauge wire. I wrapped it from top to bottom, and then from bottom to top very carefully, many layers. And uh, so I'm gonna show you. Uh, I showed this uh, these coils in, in a previous video uh, involving uh, polarity of opposite bound coils. Okay, so I found the kind of wire, uh, wire that I used. I used uh, it's actually 14 gauge wire. See this galvanized wire, and I just cut it in strips and uh, bend it into a horseshoe like shape. And the, the core, the, this this uh, iron bar goes uh, about about up halfway into the air core. It just gives it a, a little bit more uh, magnetism. If you push this iron, uh, the uh, the iron bar further, it's just gonna um, ma ma it's very strong magnets are gonna catch on it, and you, you're gonna have problems. Again, you don't need a pulse motor to drive this. You can drive this with any, anything basically. You know, a little tiny hobbyist motor, if, if you want to. Anyway, um, if you have any questions, please um, write, write a post and I'll try to respond as fast as I can.